Well, welcome everyone. It's been a while since I have posted a video, but we've got a really fun project coming up over the next few weeks, and hopefully I'll get to get several of these videos out for you. We are getting ready to clear the upper side of the pond here and make a, a little bit more room on this upper side, and we're going to remove some of these cedar trees that you can see here in the background. And what we're going to do with this material is we're going to log it, get it over to the sawmill and cut it into some nice one by six planks for ourselves. And then we're going to line the interior of our pole barn with it. So should be a really fantastic project on that side of it once we actually get to the building side. But before I come down here this morning, I checked the large lumber yards on the price of cedar. And for a section, a 10 foot section, of three quarter inch by 10 inch wide cedar lap siding. Today's price is at $43 for a single piece. So I am looking at this tree and I know I'm gonna get at least 10, maybe 12 one by sixes out of there pretty easy, maybe even more than that. And <clears throat> each tree is going to have a significant value for us, uh, three, $400 a tree by the time we're done milling. So that's going to be a really, really big advantage for us. And we are fortunate to have these trees available. Uh, we have about three acres, maybe four of cedar thicket that grows through here. And we are very cautious as to how we cut them out. And we definitely don't want to waste anything. So I'm looking forward to getting these things logged up and milled. And then, like I said, the project and the pole barn is going to be something that's really fun. Let me show you what we have going on here. I would like to thank all of you for supporting the channel. All of our new subscribers, you are welcome. Uh, basically, this is the videos that we make for us, is simply taking care of our property and making sure that we leave a better footprint for our children in the years to come. So hopefully this project, uh, getting it cleaned up and things like that, uh, they'll be able to use the pond for years and years in the future. Now the thing about cedar trees is they do have a lot of branches. So that's always the biggest part of this process is getting the limbs out and then the log over to the mill. Once we get past that, everything should speed up for us. We hope, <laughs> but I'm hoping that by the time we're done here, since we're moving all these trees back too, that I should be able to leave all the brush here in the uh, clearing and just burn it where it's at instead of having to put it on a trailer and take it out to the burn pile which will be another benefit if we can do so without catching anything else on fire. Now, I don't know about you guys, but our area, we've been in a severe drought. And other than last week, I think we ended up with about three or four inches of rain over the to total of about 10 days. Uh, it's been really dry here, so there won't be any burning until we see some rain or something like that. Uh, we definitely don't want to have all this stuff burning on us. But being able to get these trees down milled and three four hundred dollars worth of material out of each tree uh, we we really do consider that a success so let's get started guys again thanks for tuning in and i hope you enjoy the video i think this is going to be our first one and this tree is really nice and straight and for a cedar tree it really doesn't have a whole lot of branches on it and i think we're going to bring that right into this area so let's hope it goes well and get this tree on the ground. Like I said, being able to open this upper side of the pond up and make it a little easier to mow. And we may even eventually come in here with an excavator and dig this pond open a little more, make it a little larger for ourselves. We're gonna get all of these cedars right here And then as I bring you guys back around here, there's probably another 10 or 15 cedars that we can take out in this little area here. We have our golf basket setting there. It'd be really nice to get a few of these out of the way for that red oak to continue to grow. And by the time it gets its canopy opened up, it will probably give as much shade as what these cedar trees are now make the tree a little healthier as well. Now the smaller ones I'm not going to take down until we have to. Uh, that's probably a eight inch tree there. We wouldn't get enough out of that to 
make it worthy of cutting the tree down yet. So we'll let it grow for a while. This guy right here can make some nice material for us. So we're definitely going to be busy. since the saws were in this year. Bring you over here and show you that. A lot of red on that tree. We should be able to get us a nice 10 foot log. I can see it crowning up there. So we'll have to figure out what material length we can get out of the top of the log and get as much of that crown out as we can. And it looks to be about like 200 branches. did have a inclusion down here on this side of it so I'm gonna to have to cut some of this dump back in order to get to good wood there but definitely going to make some great material
time we get that stuff flattened off on the sawmill, that is going to be beautiful. And this tree's not short on branches either, guys. I didn't even get another one out of the top of this. I'm going to wait before I knock the limbs off the top so I can drag it around to wherever we're going to burn it at. But <clears throat> four outstanding logs. And we still got about six trees in here or so right here in this one area to get down. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, cedar trees have a lot of branches on them. It's probably what makes them so pretty. And the tree sap, once you get that on your gloves and stuff like that, gasoline or paint thinner is about the only thing that will clean them up. I've talked about this in my Salma videos before, but you can take, if you start getting a bunch of sap on your gloves, take some of the sawdust off the ground and smear it around in that tree sap and it'll actually uh, do away with the tree sap for you so it's, your gloves is not sticking to everything. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's good making one for you again. Uh, there's several more coming. And when we get down to the milling process, then moreover, when we get to install this stuff into the pole barn, uh, I hope that you're going to enjoy those videos. I think it's something that's going to be really fun to see. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. I'll talk to you on the next one.